Egypt in particular still gives us new mysteries with a large number of new finds. Why did the ancient Egyptians behave one way or another? How can their architecture, their religion, and their writing be explained? Then, of course, there's a branch of research that still believes that much of the power of the ancient Egyptians was primarily influenced by aliens. No wonder, then, that every new discovery and every scientific advance in the exploration of the ancient giant empire is observed by a large number of interested viewers. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. In this video, we look at some particularly astounding discoveries of the last few years and look at them in relation to the current state of research. 2,300-year-old mummy when exactly the mummification of special personalities in Egypt began is not clear to this day. There was a finding of some new mummies about 40 kilometers south of Cairo in an ancient necropolis from the early days of ancient Egypt, of particular importance for the study of this branch of science. Mummies were discovered in eight stone coffins, which were not just buried in special sarcophagi, but are also in particularly good condition. Above of all, however, it's the age of the mummies that quickly played an important role. The finds, which are particularly striking because of the elaborate sarcophagi and are supposed to represent an image of the dead in bright colors, are already around 2,300 years old. In connection with the good condition of the mummies, which is probably due to the unique processing, one could perhaps learn more about the development of mummification. It's precisely here that some of the origins of ancient Egypt and some of the oldest pyramids from the history of that time can be found. An exciting find. Mummy with a Golden Tongue there's long been a scientific consensus that Egyptian religion and burial rituals were closely linked to a belief in life after death. To this day, however, one is always astonished to find out what work people have done to make the afterlife of the dead as easy as possible. For example, the rich offerings in the graves were a way for them to maintain their standard of living in the world of the dead. Even more important, however, was sometimes the opportunity to communicate with the gods and other dead people. So one quickly found an explanation for a golden tongue found in the mouth of a mummy. Formed of gold and no doubt in the shape of a tongue, it was also intended to ensure that the dead had means of communicating in the afterlife. In general, the death cult seems to have played an even more important role than previously assumed. Not only does the artificial replacement of organs for the dead fit, but also the lifelike death masks that the particularly rich and powerful among them have placed in their graves. Pregnant Mummy Mummification was usually reserved for people from the nobility or high officials and priests, so there was no reason for a team of researchers from Warsaw to believe that the mummy was not a male priest. At least, that was what the inscriptions on the tomb suggested. During investigations, however, they were shocked to find that it was a woman in the coffin instead. Even more grotesque was the fact that she was apparently seven months pregnant at the time of her mummification, and the fetus was simply processed along with it. It's the first time researchers have come across a mummy in which the fetus was still present. Now, the history of the mummy, which had been stored since the beginning of the 19th century, is being put to the test. It would be an opportunity to learn more about the role of women in ancient Egypt, and specifically, the options available to women at the time when it came to pregnancy. Contraception also seemed to have played an important role in the legendary pharaoh's kingdom. It's now known that the Egyptians used the remains of crocodiles for contraception, among other things. Accordingly, the feces of the armored lizards was crushed and then mixed with vegetable extracts. This mixture was then introduced into the reproductive area of the woman. What at first seems like an extremely grotesque practice actually seemed to have had a contraceptive effect. Today, 
we know that feces can change the chemical environment of a woman's reproductive area, which in turn blocks the mobility of the man's seed. However, this was not the only method the ancient Egyptians used to prevent unwanted pregnancies. Some sources report that people of that era also used the intestines of goats, sheep, or calves as condoms. While these ancient condoms may have served their purpose, from a hygienic point of view, they were downright disastrous. In fact, the intestines are said to have only been washed out briefly after use and then reused several times. Intact Mummy one of the greatest challenges for researchers in ancient Egypt is that tomb robbers had thousands of years to plunder and desecrate the tombs, ruins, temples, and mummies. One was correspondingly impressed when one came across a mummy in one of the ancient necropolises around the Steppe Pyramid of Saqqara, which apparently managed to escape this fate. Not only was the tomb itself intact, but the mummy does not appear to have been touched at any time. In this case, for researchers, that means they can learn more about the process involved in mummification and perhaps even find some of the traditional offerings in the linens. It was normal for even the lower nobility to be buried with pieces of jewelry to make it easier to enter the realm of the dead. Further research into this rare intact mummy is now pending. Mummification it's above all the mummification itself that's often the focus of research today. Well, there are other parts of the world where the dead were buried in a similar manner. No other civilization is known to have worked at this craft as extensively. Not only have the mummies sometimes survived for thousands of years, they also lack the craftsmanship found in other cultures or excavations. Another reason for the researchers' curiosity is that this art is virtually extinct today. While some key steps in the mummification process have now been deciphered, all in all it's far from being under understood exactly how and why it happened. With each new mummy, one gets closer to this great art and thus also to a deeper understanding of the Egyptians. Egyptian animals were mummified. Not only humans were mummified and brought to life after death, some animals also received this honor. Whether it was because they were the favorite animals of their human masters or because they were considered particularly sacred is no longer known today. Birds, and cats in particular, were therefore also mummified after their death and sometimes placed in the tombs of the pharaohs. Given that they were often considered gods incarnate, it was a great honor for the deceased, even if it often meant the end of beloved pets when their master or mistress left this world. Chinchoro Culture Another culture also dedicated to mummification was the Chinchoro culture of South America. The special feature, however, is that it was by no means another high civilization like the Egyptians, but actually a simple people of nomads, to which such a death cult does not really seem fitting due to the limited resources. They started doing this about 2,000 years before the Egyptians and used similar methods, although it was clearly more about remembering the dead, because here mummification was not a question of status, but was done by everyone and was granted to all members of the tribes. The mummies varied over time, and you could see a clear professionalization in this work. Today, the corresponding mummies are often exhibited in museums, and new graves are constantly being found during work in the region. What's special about Tutankhamun? Tutankhamun is undoubtedly one of the most famous figures of Egyptian antiquity, at least today. Actually, the child pharaoh was insignificant compared to other rulers, and the discovery of his burial chamber was a moderate scandal. There are various reasons why the fascination still mainly revolves around him to this day. On the one hand, it's still the most powerful burial chamber that's been discovered in Egypt. On the other hand, the tomb probably still has some secrets that are difficult to solve, since the Egyptian government is very careful with changes to the burial chamber. But the symbolism is even more important. 
The discovery of his tomb triggered a boom that continues to this day in Egypt and has given archaeology a boost unlike anything before. Even though there are more and more voices wanting to leave Egypt for other destinations first, the permanent exhibition of Tutankhamun is still one of the most sought-after destinations by museum-goers around the world and continues to perpetuate the myth of ancient Egypt. This is one of the reasons why he's probably more influential today than he ever was during his short time as pharaoh. Dozens of Children Mummified The child mummies of Sicily are both chilling and important testimony for researchers trying to find out why such a fate happened here. The remains of around 163 children, along with mummified parts of older bodies, are found in the catacombs of a church in Sicily. They were probably buried between the late 18th and early 19th centuries and all come from middle-class families. The explanation of why they got this place of honor and this processing is still unknown today. Some of them were mummified completely and even with clothing and then sealed. From other corpses, only parts have survived. With the help of x-rays, they now want to find out more about the condition of the mummies and thus solve one of the biggest mysteries that's still connected with the topic of mummies and is not connected to Egypt. A Million Mummies a find at the Fag el Gamos Cemetery shows that there will be no shortage of new mummies for researchers to continue their research in Egypt. Gradually, investigations made it clear that up to a million mummies can be found here in various tombs. Initial research assumes that these were very simple people who were buried here, especially during the Roman and Byzantine occupations of Egypt. However, not much more is known so far, and the sheer mass of graves in particular particular remains a big mystery that we now want to solve. Nefertiti's Tomb As the wife of the pharaoh Akhenaten, Nefertiti is one of the most famous figures in ancient Egyptian history. Eventually, in the course of her life, the queen rose to become co-ruler and possibly had a central influence on the affairs of state. Nowadays, however, there's no trace of Nefertiti. Nobody knows where the grave is located in which the king's wife was buried more than 3,000 years ago. However, this doesn't apply to everyone. Archaeologist Nicholas Reeves actually believes that he's found a hot lead in this regard. According to the American, Nefertiti's tomb is in the legendary Valley of the Kings. Even more, researchers have stood directly in front of the burial chamber without knowing it. According to this, the queen would rest in a hidden walled chamber in the same room where Tutankhamun's mummy was discovered. At least, that's what scans of the royal burial chamber suggest, which revealed some noticeable cracks in the wall. The future will show whether this is really the case. So far, many historians debate this theory and claim that the tomb of Nefertiti remains to be discovered, though it seems as though more people are beginning to get on board with this idea that her tomb may be hiding in plain sight. If this turns out to be true, the rediscovery of her tomb may shed light on many ancient Egyptian mysteries. So far, the truth has yet to be unveiled. 3,000-year-old wooden sarcophagi I'm sure most of us love a good ancient Egyptian mystery, and that's exactly what we have for you today. The unsolved stories of ancient Egypt seem to be never-ending. Researchers are continuously finding new and interesting artifacts from ancient Egypt that keep us guessing about what life would have been like all those years ago. Yes, the pyramids are one of the most bizarre and strange mysteries to come out of Egypt. But what about the 89 sarcophagi that were found in brand new condition in 2019 and 2020? It seems that most people are blissfully unaware of the fact that searchers made one of the most incredible discoveries of the decade just a year ago. Scientists and historians were excavating portions of the Egyptian desert when they happened to come across 30 wooden sarcophagi buried deep underground. What made these sarcophagi so impressive is that they were all found together, making this the largest bulk discovery of sarcophagi in several decades. The best part of this discovery was that research 
searchers quickly noticed that each of the coffins was in immaculate condition, looking as though they had only been placed there yesterday. All the color and polish that would have originally been on the coffins was still present, making this one of the most important ancient Egyptian discoveries of all time. Yes, we found dozens of sarcophagi in the past, but none have been in this type of condition. You may think that this discovery alone is enough to keep the media talking. However, just one year later in 2020, another group of mint-conditioned sarcophagi was found. This time, the researchers uncovered almost twice as many as before, finding the resting place of 59 sarcophagi that once again were in perfect condition. To think that these would have been placed here about 3,000 years ago is completely insane. When conducting further research on the coffins, experts realized that not only was the dye and paint in great shape, but the wax that was used to seal the wood from the elements was still intact and was still doing its job. Even after being buried at a depth of about 12 meters for all this time, it seems that these mummies were truly in a very comfortable resting place as there was no evidence of erosion or any sort of degradation after all this time. Mummies are and will always be an interesting topic around Egypt, as this video hopefully showed you again. What fascinates you about the topic and what do you think the mummies were all about? Thank you for watching. Click on one of the pictures and watch another exciting video. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and to never miss new videos again, click subscribe and we'll see you again soon.